Greetings, my scattered brothers and sisters in the Lord. I trust you know the Lord is with you wherever you find yourself scattered today, and that you know that his presence with you is more than enough for whatever you might face today. We are in 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 8 and 9. 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 8 and 9. Finally, all of you be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. Do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing, because to this you were called, so that you may inherit a blessing. Now we want to unpack this, and notice that it says, all of you be like-minded. Uh, this goes back to, this like-mindedness goes back to, as Peter was talking to the slaves, that they are to trace Christ in their behavior towards their masters. The wives, they are also to trace Christ in behavior towards their husbands. And the husbands, likewise, are to trace Christ in their behavior towards their wives. And now, finally, all of you are to be same-minded, to be like-minded. You're all to have the mind of Christ. And what was that mind of Christ? Well, when people made insults against him, he did not insult back. He did not retaliate, he did not threaten, but instead he entrusted himself to him who judges justly. And so that's what Peter is calling for the whole church to do, for every believer to do. Finally, all of you, be like-minded, have that mind of Christ. And he presses it on out just a little bit more. Be sympathetic, uh, consider how others might feel, love one another, brotherly love. Be compassionate and humble. Do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. That's pretty tough to do. Uh, we constantly, when somebody insults us, we're looking for a way to insult back. When somebody does something to us, we're looking for a way to turn it back on them. And yet Peter is saying, no, we are to have the mind of Christ that rather than repay insult for insult, rather than repay evil for evil, we are actually to respond with blessing. Now, to, to respond with blessing, I think it's not simply, you know, bless you, but that we really seek their goodwill. We really seek God's goodwill for the lives of those who would insult us, who would do us wrong, uh, rather than just wanting to get even, rather than wanting to see something bad happen to them. We want God's best for them. Uh, we want God's good will to be done in their lives. And so to respond with good will instead of malice, instead of wishing evil upon them. Uh, to this we were called so that we might inherit a blessing. And I think, okay, how do we get the power to do this? Because it's just not in me to live that way. Well, the power comes from our new birth. The power comes from Christ. And in that sense, it is in me to live this way because by his wounds, I have been healed. And when I have a hard time blessing someone, then what that indicates is that the healing in my life needs to go deeper. And so I begin to pray, Lord, help me to really grow in my awareness of your deep love for me and work that healing deeper and deeper into my life so that no matter what others might be saying, however they might be insulting me, whatever they might do, that I'm seeking your best for them and that I'm able to return blessing for evil. And again, you know, by his wounds, we are healed. So Peter's not telling us, hey, you gotta do this on your own. You gotta grit your teeth. You gotta try harder. Rather, we're gonna live this way because of the healing that we have experienced. We're going to live this way because of the new birth into that living hope that we've experienced on account of God's mercy. We're going to live this way because we are living stones being built together with Jesus as our cornerstone. And so we're going to live this way because of God's mercy upon us and how he has called him out of darkness into his marvelous light. And so wherever you find yourself scattered today, I don't know what insults you might be dealing with. I don't know what harsh treatment might be coming your way, but my prayer for you, my prayer for me, is that you and I will be able to respond to it all with blessing, and that we'll be compassionate, we'll be sympathetic, 
will have the mind of Christ. God bless. Have a great day. And bless, no matter what others might be doing. Because you've been healed. And if you're having a hard time blessing, Lord, heal me more deeply so that I can bless as you bless. God bless.